Hi, thank you for joining us today. When did I talk about the uh, Miller welding mask? But I want to take and give you kind of a perspective of some of the things we have to deal with when you're working in tight areas and having welded in some pretty small areas and I'm kind of a big guy, it doesn't make it any easier. So I want to talk about the typical full-size helmet. Pretty good size helmet. And the welding mask. Kind of gives you perspective. Now, the next thing is the uh, next smaller thing is a handheld mask. Again, another perspective kind of gives you an idea of what to expect. And by the way, this is a single color one. We use them in welding class, but they're kind of fun for people that they don't have to worry about auto darkening. You can stand back and still protect your eyes and stuff from the uh, arc. And then the smallest one I have happens to be this one. And you can see again, it's a lot smaller. But all the helmet ones, I can wear my glasses with. Now, the interesting thing is that there's no room in the Miller welding mask for glasses. So, uh, in the Miller, there is a lens device in there, and I'll take it out and show you. And you take it down to your optometric place, and they'll put lenses in that are appropriate for your focal point and how you plan to use it. And you snap right back in place. So, when I, uh, to put on this unit, and then we'll go through the settings in a second, but to put on the unit, take my glasses off, put the hood on. Notice I have the welding hood already on, saves time. Everybody's seen people put the welding coat, so we don't have to worry about that. Notice it fits really tight around the head. And that fits down around the neck. And it covers your ears, back of your head and everything, so you don't get sparks. Then we take the helmet, and we'll go through the settings in a moment. Put the helmet on. It's underneath the uh, roll front flap up here. So it's auto darkening. It has a grind mode, so you can actually grind with it. Don't have to worry about sparks and stuff getting on you because it's very well protected. Keeps you well, well safe. So now we'll go through the settings. So bear with me a second as I get all this off. And then we'll do the close-up on, on that. We, uh, get in the settings here. It has an, an on on here. It has a battery light. On this side is where we change the battery. Use a little Phillips screwdriver to change the battery. And then so here I turn it on. And then notice it gives me a flash. I like to press the shape button because it toggles. You press it once, it moves up. It t uh, when it goes to the top, starts at the bottom, that's grind mode. Then you go up to your different settings. So it'll leave it at 11. It has the uh, lens capability and whether or not it's got a hold and, and sensitivity here. So basically, the secret that I use is to make sure it's on, make sure that it adjusts, and then press hold once I get the sensitivity in. And so it holds it, the settings for me. So now, I can go ahead and put the helmet on, and I don't have a fear of an arc flash. Even though it does have, it would be default grind mode, but that. Now, there comes in the kit some new front lens pieces here, and there's a little tab up here, you turn in the center, right here, and then you can actually change the lens out, and then if they get spattered and, and get uh, a little grody and nasty. Okay, so, the kind of quick and, and dirty of this is that it's a great little tool and you're going to find that using this when you're working in tight areas is very handy. Now, 
I get once in a while projects that I've got to crawl underneath a forklift or I have to crawl in inside part of a truck bed or something to do some welding. So consequently, this makes it really, really nice to get in and get around. Uh, I've actually done welding where I actually had to have the helmet and use this little helmet here. And I actually had to jam it in. You can see it's scratched up from having survived uh, the usage by me. So it uh, has done one good job. Um, being jammed in places because it is small and then when I got the uh, welding mask life got a lot easier and a lot safer so we appreciate your time do leave us uh, a comment or leave us uh, information and and uh, let us know about what you like about the video and stuff and I really appreciate uh, you subscribing thank you thank you I just thought I'd mention that tomorrow's the eclipse so tomorrow, I'm going to put on my welding gear, the wonderful Miller mask, and step outside. And I don't get sunburned because my head will be protected, neck's protected, and Lord only knows with the welding coat on, I'm not going to take and get any kind of burns. So I'm going to enjoy the solar eclipse tomorrow. Hopefully you do too, but please be safe. We'll talk to you soon.